Hi, welcome back to Motor Forms. I'm Mike behind the camera is Jay and this is our new M135i. Got to watch the vlog to see the actual colour of it. So you're probably wondering why we bought another M135i. Purely basis, it's our number one car we see through the door. Over the past six months, I think we've seen close to 50, and I think it was 47 the exact count. The car's just so good for us. If you go anywhere to meets and events, we use it as a little van to put the seats down, there's plenty of room into it. It's a good daily, which keeps miles off the M4 and such things like that. And it's probably still the car that we didn't actually finish. On the previous vlog, we did say the reason why we we're selling our M135 is because obviously the term had run out of three years. We hadn't finished, we hadn't put our springs onto it, had done the steering wheel, some other little bits and bobs. So we thought we'd better buy another one. I'm actually currently, hopefully, hiding the colour of this one in a minute, which we'll go into in a minute. So when we knew that that car was going, we had to think of a replacement and we weren't quite ready for the new one that's coming out. There is a new car coming out in 2023, which has got four exhausts, I believe. It'll have the different grille, the different dash. So this is fundamentally identical to what we had before, just the 2022 updates, which we believe is slightly different on the camber, enhanced noise sound. So a few little bits, but fundamentally identical car. So all the old parts that come off the other one, plus the new springs and some other parts will be fitted to this one in another vlog. We reached out to Tony when that car was going back just to say, we are after another one. Have you got anything a bit spicy, a bit special, a bit different coming in? And Tony being the man had managed to get one of these. This is an actual individual color. So hopefully in a minute as I'm talking, the color will change. And as you can see, it's Isle of Man green, which is a BMW M color. Couldn't see it on a configurator, couldn't find it on Google, couldn't manage to find what this car would look like anywhere online. Now obviously you can order them, I don't know how, for more information, speak to Tony, his information's down below. So we're really excited. We're about to get it in the detailing bay. I believe Steve's already had a quick look around the car. It is really good to start with. So we are starting from a car at 90%, which got to get to that 100%. Then what we'll do is all the parts that are used, we're going to get them to 100% as well. So we'll clean up the wheels, the body kit, the exhaust. So when all the car goes off, we'll back together, all the parts back onto it, it'll look better than new. So excited to see how this one looks up with the modifications. So I guess let's get it in the bay and then on the ramp. So the BMW is now complete. We have machine polished it top to bottom and it didn't really need much work because it is a brand new car after all. So we've coated the car with CSL and topped it with XO so it's gonna give it that five years of protection that it does need. So I'm gonna hand the car over to Mike and he's gonna talk a bit more about the modifications that this car's gonna get. So car's complete. It's now fully coated G-Technique, which should give it protection of around sort of five years. We'll obviously check back on it in six months time, see how the protection is doing. Next vlog, we'll be getting obviously the parts fitted to it. And as you can see, no badges, going for a bit of a cleaner look this one here. I like the 50th anniversary badge and of course, MO22, which was on our 240i, is fitted to this car. Let us know what so far you think of the Isle of Man Green M135i. Hi, welcome back to Motor Performance. I'm Mike, behind the camera is Jay. Not talking about this today, our G82 is in a vlog coming soon. We are changing the brakes out. 
Not talking about this G82 M4, they've had him a complete carbon kit. This car was in a few weeks ago. If you haven't seen that vlog, check it out. We're talking about this. Modifications on our M135i are now done. So in the previous video, this car was all detailed, cleaned up and ready to go. But we've got some extra parts to put on there from the old one series that we used to have here. So I'm going to go ahead and clean those up, get them onto the car and then show you the finished results. So next day, as you can see, the car looks incredible. I'm over the moon with it. We already knew what it was gonna look like because all the parts come off of our previous M135i in white. So we had an idea of how it would look. But there's an idea of what you think it looks like and actually what it looks like. And this color is stunning. I can't wait to get it out on the road. The car still done no miles. It literally went straight to us, to the detailing bay, onto the ramp and sat here. It's done seven miles. So next time you probably see it in another vlog, it had done a lot more miles. I'm blown away of how it looks. So things we've done on it start to finish. So we're going to do a recap of all the previous mods and obviously what we've done to it existingly. So first off, what we've done is change the grill out. The original serum gray grill is actually quite nice and works well on some of the black cars and things like that. But on this green, had to go straight away. Gloss black, genuine M performance one with the lower ducts as well, replace those. It's a bumper off job to do it properly. So hence a bit labor intensive, but transforms the car. Fitted our Zero front sides and rear diffuser. Yet again, they come off of our M135i previously before. We did have grills on the white car as well, but they got a little bit marked and stone chipped over a number of years we have in the car. So I swapped them out for brand new ones. This car, the wheels came across. Steve done a really good job of getting the wheels up to 100%, like he probably explained earlier on. The parts come off of a used car, so they were kind of 80%. We have to get them to 100%, so they course they've gone through a detailing process and then coated in C and C5 wheel armor. To think about that, to protect the wheels. Yet again, brakes were taken across, fitted new pads, gone for the EBC blue stuff front this time and yellow stuff rear, so I'll report on how they are. Previously had the yellow stuff onto it, front and rear, which were fine, but sometimes I always felt like I could do a bit more. These cars are quite quick and they're quite heavy, so up to the blue, and I'll do a report on those in a future vlog as well. Change the springs out. Previously, we rang the Ibax 30 front, 25 rear, which is a perfect kit for this, but now we have our own spring kit developed, which is lower, 35 front, 30 rear, and it looks amazing. Sitting on these wheels, absolutely perfect. Can't wait to drive it. Max and top spoiler, our Remus OPF exhaust, uh, which was obviously taken yet again off the previous car. Tail pops are tidied up just to fit onto this. Complete detail, looks amazing. Gloss black M badges, new mirror caps, just a phenomenal looking car. The response so far of obviously people seeing the teaser of it being from gray to green on the vlog. So after the B-roll, one more thing we're gonna just do is do the rev sound of the standard exhaust against the Remus as well. So let us know so far what you think of the new M135 Vine Isle of Man Green. Thanks a lot.
So then, behind me we have our F40 M135i. This is also sitting on the Motex stance spring kit. So it's a 35 front and a 30 rear drop. It also works really nicely with the 19 inch Motec MW1 wheels as we also saw on the Mini. Going over some of the other things we've done on the M135i over our time of having it, we're looking at the gloss black M Performance honeycomb grille with the black bumper inserts on the front, which are a nice touch. It's also featuring the gloss black Maxton kit, which works perfectly with the Motec V2 side badges. We have the M style gloss black mirror caps on here just to finish things off with that aggressive look. When it comes to the induction on these cars, there are a couple of options you can go for. On our car, we have our Motec intake fitted. These are an open cone unit that uses the bottom half of the airbox to keep the airflow. The alternative is the Motec drop-in panel filter. These are a much more OEM plus replacement. Moving on to the rear of the car, we do have the Remus race fitted with our Motec black chrome exhaust tips. The car hasn't had a huge amount of change over the last couple of years, but there is something very much incoming. Therefore, keep posted on the channel. Um, we get a lot of inquiries based on the fact that people don't know what the 2023 sounds like with the Remus. Um, so let's jump into some sound clips and have a listen. I'm Mike behind the camera is Jay and behind me isn't Motec, it's Maxon Designs. Right, so as you can see behind me, we have brought our M135i up to Maxon Designs. We've been working with Maxon for a number of years now across the M140 range, a lot of the Motec edition cars we did. We're a very good customer of theirs and I'm sure you've seen lots of their products on the YouTube channel. They've reached out and said, hey, we're going to Gravity. We have our new carbon fiber body kit for the F40 M135i. Can we do some kind of collaboration, get the car on a stand, bring the car up for some content, get it fitted. So let's go take a look inside and see what the carbon's all about. So one of the reasons also we're here at Max at the minute is obviously they're fitting the new carbon fiber body kit to the F40 M135i, getting ready for the Gravity Show, which is actually next weekend. We'll be on their stand with them there. Also, this is their new demo car, and of course it'll also be on the stand. This runs their nearly almost finished kit. It's still got no spoiler onto it yet, but of course when it's a Gravity, we'll get some B-roll footage of that in next week's vlog. 
but we had to just grab the opportunity to grab the car quickly. And as you can see, it has the perfect start. It sits well, 20 inch Vossen wheels, and the exhaust give a bit more sort of sound. And of course their gloss black kit just looks amazing on this car. Yeah, again, they will be bringing a carbon kit out, but to start off the gloss black looks perfect on this. So you can see the front, the sides, the rear diffuser, the top winglets across the, the, um, each side of the, the roof looks really good, quite BMW. If you look back to some of the older CSL cars, that certainly had that from the 70s down the bonnet and of course on the roofs. And of course, there'll be a spoiler to go along with that very soon as well. So a bit of B-roll on this one, and then let's get back inside and see how the F40 is looking. So as you can see, complete, done, transformation of the car. It's nice to be able to see something different on this vehicle. Um, we've obviously always ran a gloss black kit on it, even when a car was white, a previous car that we had with Max, and so it's nice to have a long working relationship with them. And of course, when they released the carbon kit, we had to go for it. The car, like I sort of said, is gonna be a show of gravity. We are gonna do a wheel change, that's in a vlog coming soon as well. But as you can see, real nice transformation. And it's nice for a manufacturer not just to do front side skirts and a spawner diffuser. They've done a bit more. Engine covers, strut brace, seat backs, air ducts, kidney grills. So it's a real nice transformation. Really looking forward to getting it back, getting the new wheels fitted to it, getting it through the detailing bay and actually getting it looking better than new. So we're excited to get that done. Let us know what you think of the car with the carbon kit on and also let us know what you think of their stunning G87 M2 with the black kit on it. So just walked out of the detailing bay and as you can see the guys are starting work on the next car in for detailing which is a Rolls Royce Dawn? Which Rolls Royce is that? Shiny. Yeah, a shiny one. Is it a Rolls Royce Wraith two door anyway? So it's a Rolls Royce two door which the guys are starting work on correction on for that one. Uh, behind me you can see the 135i which is sitting on its MW1 wheels in the powder coat chrome. So we were initially going to obviously talk about releasing a silver wheel, but the problem with this particular wheel was it's clearly quite aggressive. So you didn't want to go with like just a flat seal. We want something a bit more. Didn't want to do the black with a polished face, and we didn't want to do the silver with a polished face because that's a very OEM look like we've done on the MW3s. So obviously to go with the powder coat chrome just really gives it that sort of real deep gloss, almost like that liquid look. It's not the California chrome with like the spinners and that sort of stuff. It has a real nice gloss to it. So it looks a real premium finish on a wheel. So it works really, really well, especially on dark colored cars. But saying that, a white M135 would look, look stunning. So what do you think? Comment down below of the carbon kit on the green M135i and the powder coat chrome wheels. Thanks a lot for watching.